are in the 207 kitchen at Omain Studios with Brent Dedalaris, and you have a brand new space in Portland called Gross Confection Bar. That's correct. Love the idea behind this. Thank Let's you. get started on this sure. first, and then we'll talk about that. So sure, what sure. are we making? We are going to do a brown butter coconut macaroon. Okay, how do you start here? We're going to do egg whites first. Yeah. Egg whites. Egg whites. Easy yes. enough. We're going to add sugar to that. And then we're going to do glucose and salt. Glucose, you can find, you can get this at health food stores or, you know, Amazon, whatever. Plug there, right? <laughs> uh, and then uh, this is basically a, for this, for this uh, recipe, it's a textural ingredient. So it keeps the, uh, the, um, the cookie nice and soft on the, in the inside. Does that also kind of hold things together? It sure or? does. Okay. I mean, it's used for a multitude of things in, in the confectionery world, but it, for this, um, it's adding a little bit of sweetness, but also uh, the, it's a great texture at the end. So you're going to put this, all this over a double boiler, so boiling water, and you need to get this to a temperature that is going to dissolve all this, the uh, sugar okay. and the glucose, about 140, 145 degrees. Okay, so while that's dissolving, sure. let's talk about the concept behind this bar, because this sure. is cool. It's basically desserts and drinks. That's correct. So yeah, we have a full bar. Um, we do, we have, you know, 45 seats and we do about 15 different desserts, four of which you can get for large parties. So if you wanted, uh, say the, the steamed pumpkin cake, we could do that for a party of 20 if you wanted. Wow. Or, uh, yeah. So we, we also do seating in the kitchen for large parties. So we have a chef's table right in the kitchen. So any large parties will We'll just bring them right in the kitchen and the kitchen staff will serve you, so. Why just desserts? What is it about desserts for you? Well, I just felt like the, uh, you know, Portland was ready for, for a place that was, uh, you know, a little, a little upscale for, for desserts um, and, and for, for cocktails as well. Mm -hmm. And it's a concept I, I thought of, you know, a few years back and did a little research by traveling around the country a little bit and going to other, other small or uh, bigger city places have, you know, some, some dessert restaurants, so. Nice and the sugar's all dissolved now from the heat. Okay. To this, we are going to add the coconut. And this is uh, what is called desiccated coconut. So it's totally dry. There's no sugar added to it as well. So when you're using, um, to make this, when you're using a desiccated coconut, you are going to want to let this, co this macaroon base sit overnight in your refrigerator. Okay. What that's going to do is uh, get all the liquids that are uh, involved, all the, the egg whites in there, and everything is going to hydrate that, um, the coconut in there too. Okay, so you, for the sake of time, already have some kind of I done, do. but you're adding, what We is are going to add the, uh, the brown butter to it. So brown butter is basically, you're going to melt butter and just take it, keep going with it until it gets a beautiful amber color. Okay. And the, uh, the, the butter solids start to, uh, to brown in it. You can see where the color you is can coming in here. Smell oh. that. Ooh. Brown butter is, a, is the, the major ingredient in this that really pops out the flavor in there. And you'll get incredible. some brown butter bits in there as well. So for this, that's all that is involved in this. And it may okay. seem really soft right now, but you let it sit overnight in the okay. refrigerator. We can set this aside. Yeah, we can set that aside. And then I do have one that, uh, that I brought in with the magic of television. Boom. So there we have that. And what we're going to do with this for... Um, can utilize the spatula again. What we're going to do for that is we're going to take this out when you when you have it out of the um, right out of the fridge, nice and cold. It tends to maybe separate a tiny bit, so you're just going to take it, throw it in the bowl, like that. Just mix it up a little bit. Just mix it up a tiny bit, yeah, just to reincorporate everything. Just okay. Like that, and so you can see how like from the the state it was when we made it there to what it is now, the the butter is a little bit more solidified. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna we're gonna scoop these guys with a little trusty scoop. I was gonna say, how do you get that perfect shape with the scoop? Okay. There you go. So yeah, we just use a scoop like that, and these will go in a 350 uh, oven for about 20 minutes, uh, with a spin, spin them around in the oven. Oh, okay. Uh, after about 10. Good to know. Yeah. Okay, so we got that covered. We've got a final. We do. We have the final ones here. Let's plate these. We can do that definitely. So Wait, what do you need what first? What we do at the restaurant, we. Um, we have uh, chocolate ganache. We'll okay. Put that down on the plate first. Which mm -hmm. clearly is a good it's, it's sidebar to these. We will take one of these guys. We'll kind of break it up a little bit. Oh. So it's a little bit easier to eat, yeah. 
Oh, you take a, take away the work from us exactly. having to eat, a, eat that. Uh, we're going to do a little brown butter crumb. So what we do here is uh, we just take, uh, we take actually um, powdered milk, which is nonfat, dry milk solids, and then we brown them in brown butter. And then we we'll toss a little sugar in there and make it a little sweet, a little salt. Uh, we'll do that. And then we do uh, some apricot ginger jam. Ooh. Ginger and coconut together is pretty, pretty killer. Excellent sides. We lastly will do passion fruit fluid gel. So this is passion fruit uh, puree that's um, sweetened up a little bit. And then we just add uh, a little bit of what is called agar agar. And that sets it up a little bit. And then you can... Uh, puree it totally smooth. All right, he makes this look pretty. You don't have to do that. You can find the recipe to this in the 207 section of our website. We'll put that right up front and center. Brent, thanks for coming in. Absolutely, thank Check you. Check out Gross Confection Bar in Portland and 207. We'll be right back.